Hi folks, well quite a bit snowy in South East London or North East Surrey where I live on the edge of London uh, so we've only had about half an inch of, rain, of uh, snow so everything is white uh, but nearby it's, uh, it's very patchy about four or five miles away in Coulson there's quite a bit of snow and Surrey Hills, a lot of snow. Right, okay, so I've just sketched out just a rough uh, design for a Norfolk, Brancaster State type of painting. Just a just Norfolk salt marsh. Looking hopefully from the sea where you can't stand, so I'm making it all up. It doesn't it doesn't exist in uh, reality. So my usual limited palette of cadmium red, ultramarine, red ochre, Payne's grey, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre, plenty of oil. So let's have, uh, I'm not going to do a snow scene, I'm going to do a summer spring scene. Okay so plenty of white, bit of blue. I just let's just get some get some oil oily paint on. Just cover cover the board. It's a three millimeter MDF piece of MDF. I think it's uh, 18, 18 and a quarter inches by by twelve eighteen by twelve. I have a frame for it if it's worth it. Now, using the oil mainly to make the paint flow, and it's got a bit of dryer in it as well. I'm going to just get some more out there. Okay, that's a start. Let's uh, put in some. Uh, what sort of horizon? Well, let's, we could have a, we could have a bright horizon. We can have a red and. Okay, I'll put some more oil in my little dish. Getting a bit low in with this one, so buy some more. It's a uh, pure chem. I got it off. Um, oh, sorry, pure chem off eBay. Very good value and a very good uh, material. I'll mix a bit of dryer in with this. The two paintings I did over the weekend, the oil paintings, I think the Marsh Barn and the Suffolk Meadow or Suffolk Cottage by Stream, uh, they're, they're, they're still in those silver frames and they're hanging on my wall opposite where I sit to watch the TV and monitor all my comments and uploads by a got the old uh, coal burner going but it's a smokeless fuel you can't use a proper, proper household coal 
Here. Gosh, I, I, I do love watercolor, uh, oil painting. I've, really, I've said it before said it several times, I've really come to the end of what I can say in watercolor, other than just repeating variations on a theme. But oil painting just for me is just... Uh, but like you, I, I, well I did start with oil painting in my mid-twenties with a friend and my wife. We all stuck some, a canvas, homemade canvas, from tent canvas, on a wall, or a wall, one of three walls, uh, in a room in my previous house that hadn't been decorated. We, we hammered them onto the wall. Three of us got some colour, had some, a few brushes, and we had a go at Lighthouse. Great fun. But then I sort of carried on with watercolour painting, but I didn't get anywhere with it until I saw Ron Ranson's uh, documentary, the old VHS. Oh, 35 years ago. Could do with another one of these brushes, but you can't get anywhere. The range used to have a wonderful, very, very useful art section, but alas, that's gone. Now that's a, the Cad Red and the Ultramarine is a good cloud shadow. Try to give it the impression of clouds scudding across the sky over wild North Norfolk. I've been to Norfolk uh, quite a few times. Uh, I had a couple of uh, English country cottages many years ago. The kids were small. Lovely place called Snettisham on Hickling Broad and then uh, Sea Palling, however you say it, on the east coast of Norfolk. Camping holidays with our trailers up in uh, West Runton. Wonderful, wonderful place. And all along that North, North Norfolk coast. And uh, Brancaster, <coughs> Staith, Brancaster. Oh, superb, superb place. Seagull painted it, well he lived in Norfolk so he is a, a genuine, or was, till he, till he kicked the bucket, a uh, Norfolk born and bred. Don't like that. 
分析啊。So I could do another one of these brushes. This one's wearing out. Just a bit of, bit of ochre. Right, now I'm going to put that background in. So just a light blue, a bit of oil. Soften that to uh, the distant hills looking at um, this square fairly hilly at the coast, especially around Cromer, the highest point of the of East Anglia. Okay, now that'll sort of do. They put lots of trees in there and stuff. Quite a few houses here. <coughs> right, I'll. Uh, what should I do now? I could. I'm going to put in some trees. There are pine trees here, but I pref prefer doing uh, the deciduous, the oaks and the chestnuts and so. There are. A lot of chestnut trees in this area. So if you can see me ahead. Look, just red, blue and the three primaries, what I'm trying to say. Put some shadow in underneath that. We'll uh, put in a tree in between there. You can use the trees to highlight. Then I can put some nice light colours there as well. Now I'm, I'm making this up as I'm going along.
this is how I like to work these days. So my work is totally original. Plenty of blue in that. A bit darker ones. If you're a bit unsure of your horizons being horizontal, then use a ruler, straight edge or something. But I'm going uphill there, so we'll change that. Well, we can clean the brush a bit and just, just lift that up a bit. Could do that with the, with the grass. Now, I'm sorry if the uh, light is shining a bit heavy on the shiny surface caused by the linseed oil on my lights, my overhead lights. There's nothing I can do about that. My light bar is in the middle of the room and I'm about a metre to one side so that's why, why it does show. Uh, well it looks pretty okay. Fish should be bothered all night. Let's find my little, my little brush. You don't want to do the foreground. If you're going to do trees and stuff on the, on the, on the horizon you, you need to rest your fingers on the, on the unpainted board so like a knife painting start from the top and work to the bottom I'll see if I, I put some little bit, hints of buildings in there with sort of red ready orange okay so nice and nice white Well, they're just filling in now. Now, I think uh, you get Norfolk pan tiles, which are red, so we'll put the reds, reds in. A bit of this ochre and a bit of white, I think. But sienna will be a, a better colour. Okay, uh, the walls facing we'll have as white and then so let's get the white back in there.
Sturm da, sei da sopra il coro. Vedo pure se... Snow. Okay, let's uh, just straighten up these uh, bits here. I'm not really very good at uh, buildings. Uh, I don't really practice them. I'm a landscape man. Right, let's get a bit of bit of paint spray there. That'll be white. Now, so I so get my balls vertical, and uh, we can put some little bits of uh, Oops. Great little brushes, but you have to keep them very clean, get all the oil out of them. Otherwise, I'll start to spray. Right, that's about all I'm going to. Oh, we've got a bar there, haven't we? That's a, just a bit of mauve. Boathouse or something. Ah, yeah. Well, right, I'll refine that later on if I have to. Let's just clean that in the oil for a moment. Right, now we're going to do some uh, <coughs> putting in of water. Now, a light sky gives you light water, doesn't it? So, we'll uh, just get some, just slightly off white. Right, okay. Get my stippling brushes. Let's 
soft. I can't see out of my loft windows, they're covered in snow. And that means that my loft is fairly well insulated. Got a bit of red in there. Pretty oil. Right now we'll put in some uh, movie colour. I, I love doing these uh, marshes, marsh grasses. I like to think that I'm getting a bit better at them. Inspired largely by the boardwalk in Morton Hall Park where there's lovely lot of grasses, uh, thatching grass, although there's not enough of it to thatch a house really. There's some good dark in the shadow. And we can paint over that with some lighter greens. Right, now we've got this lovely ochre, the two ochres. We'll get some greens in there as well. I think my horizon is going uphill a bit, a bit there.
Okay, let's get some water in there now. Oh no, let's put some uh, greens. Let's get some nice green. So we have the red, blue, and some white. Get some water in there. Clean the brush. I'm going to have a slightly creamy Get some darks around there again. Now that blue and red has turned some of that into a darker green, which is lovely. Pull some of that down.
that one's coming out quite well. I don't think they're really poppies in the salt marsh. The Seago was a master painting this type of scene. I like to think I'm getting better at it. But, uh, See that shadow areas <coughs> more it's established. Right, we've got some, some real good white tips now. Well, I don't really want to do much more than that. I'm going to uh, put it in a frame and we'll have a look at it. That's all I'm going to do today. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, 
nice way, a bit better now. It's long past being uh, used as a, as a, a cellar frame, or that's. Hold on, hold on. Get some little bits of uh, packing. Oh, okay. Will you help? So I'll dismantle and drop this. This box is a great uh, asset. I bought it years ago for a lot of money. They're much cheaper now. Paid, I think it must be 20, 25 years ago. I paid £145 for this, well, we're a little bit uh, grinning at the bottom frame, it's just a little bit large. Uh, uh, I'll just raise it up a bit so that we can Get all the frame in there. Oh, well, there we are. Sorry about the bit at the bottom there. But uh, there, sorry, it won't be that frame for very long. Uh, just marsh. Norfolk marsh grass. Salt marsh. I hope you like it. The, the sky. Oh, it's just washed in, as you can see, it's a little bit of uh, detail, but it, it's better left alone than fiddling it to death. So we'll leave that. I hope you like it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.